MRI Advance contains three primary components, the coursework, the teaching files, and finally, the patient data management software. The first component, entitled Coursework, consists of a series of lectures and video demonstrations discussing the A to Zs of establishing a breast MRI program. Topics range from equipment and personnel needs to patient scheduling details. Many specifics about performing the exam are addressed, as well as discussions from an approach to image interpretation, breast biopsies, through to patient follow-up. Wherever feasible, we have tried to separate the topics into multiple subcategories or bullet points. Our purpose in this is to facilitate quickly accessing individual topics as you need to review a specific point without having to sift through a lengthier video segment. This section has been divided into a radiologist and a technologist section. Some topics will be duplicated in both of these sections as we feel they are pertinent to both groups. Other specific topics will be listed only on the professional category to which they pertain. We do suggest at some point reviewing both sections whether you are a radiologist or an MRI technologist. Understanding each other's responsibilities can only strengthen your program. The second component of MRI Advance is the teaching files. We feel that once the foundation for a successful breast MRI program has been established by the coursework, the next component to help assure program success is experience. Although there is no substitute for actually performing, interpreting, and following multiple cases, we hope that sharing some of our cases will accelerate your learning curve. The teaching files can be segregated into pathologic subcategories, allowing review of several examples of one specific type of pathology, or they can be viewed randomly, allowing you to test yourself. The cases are presented in a common format, which illustrates an ordered approach to evaluating each exam. This approach, and why we use it, will be explained in detail in the image analysis section of the coursework. The third and final component of MRI Advance is our advanced patient data management software. We feel that it is critical to track your patients, know your program statistics, and evaluate discordances in your MRI interpretations and final pathologic or clinical outcomes. This is no small task as we have learned firsthand, historically maintaining files and logbooks on each of our patients. The data management software is DICOM compatible once the DICOM header information has been transferred to the computer, the patient information will automatically be entered, creating a patient file. There are then four separate functions or categories to the software. The patient data section displays the patient demographics, as well as a series of pull-down menu options. The minimal data which should be entered is the BIRADS codes for the MRI interpretations. Multiple other parameters, however, such as phase of the menstrual cycle, technique or coil used, as well as several other parameters can also be entered and then sequentially evaluated as to their impact on your results. A case can be tagged as a teaching file case. Follow-up parameters can be specified, however, automatic follow-up parameters are also provided. Any patient designated as a BIRADS 1, 2, or 3 will be flagged for follow-up in 13 months. We have designated 13 months to allow some leeway for patients obtaining their routine annual screening mammograms. This will facilitate following your negative or benign MRI exams to assure that subsequent screening exams do not demonstrate an undetected cancer. These cases will be followed for three years before being designated as complete. A case diagnosed as a BIRADS 4, 5, or 6 will be flagged to follow up on pathology results in one month. The pathology results are then entered to verify or complete all of these BIRAD cases. Specific comments can be entered for each individual case. Each pull-down menu also has an other category, allowing tailoring to your specific practice needs. The software allows you to search for patients by pathology. It will tell the total number of cases that you have with that pathologic diagnosis and note which ones you have designated for teaching or lecture purposes. It will also designate whether the case in question is pathologically verified or currently designated as an unverified teaching file case. The next component of the software is the statistical analysis component. 
initially opening the statistics section will yield the total number of cases currently entered in your program, as well as the sensitivity, specificity, positive and negative predictive values for your program as a whole. Statistics can, however, be further evaluated by individual parameters. For example, besides knowing the overall sensitivity and specificity of your program, you could assess what your statistics are for invasive ductal cancer versus ductal carcinoma in situ. Do you have better statistics with lobular cancer than invasive ductal cancer? A discordant case section has also been included, which will list any case that has pathology discordant with the initial BIRADS code. For example, a BIRADS code of 1, 2, or 3, subsequently shown to have cancer, will be registered as a discordant case. Alternatively, a BIRADS 4 or 5 interpretation, subsequently shown to have benign pathology, will also be registered as a discordant case. This allows you and your partners to review discordant cases and hopefully learn from them. The fourth component of the software is the patient follow-up section. This section is most commonly accessed by your secretarial staff. This notes what follow-up is due on a given date. As discussed previously, patients with a BIRADS 1, 2, or 3 will appear in the follow-up menu 13 months following the date of their exam. This will remind your staff to follow up on the patient's mammograms or any other activity which may indicate unsuspected breast pathology. Patients with a previous BIRADS 4 or 5 will be flagged with a surgical pathology reminder one month following the exam. Any specific follow-up designated at the time of the interpretation will also appear in this section. The field of magnetic resonance mammography is still constantly evolving. Our image protocols are different today than they were one to two years ago. Our coils have changed. We have just begun breast spectroscopy and are anxious to evaluate its impact on our program specificity. Given the nature of this field, we felt that the value of MRI advance would be diminished were it a static product. We have therefore designed it to be periodically updated. You can check our website periodically for update availability.